You can do this in about five minutes. No joke, five minutes, I dare you. Time yourself and see if you did it in five minutes and let me know. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and coming back every week and for leaving such kind comments and for all of the messages you've sent me, I just want you to know how much it has meant to me. One of the questions I recently received was from somebody who had been watching my channel and he emailed me and said, thank you so much for your information. Can you give me a couple ideas on where to promote my next single if I don't have a huge budget for marketing and promotion? The answer, my friend, is yes, I can. And I'm about to tell you right now. Okay, so you've just released a single on iTunes. Now what? What do you do? How do you get the word out there? How do you let people know without spamming their social media every five seconds that you have a single? These are going to be a couple quick ideas that you can do very simply to make sure the link and the thought of the fact that your single has been released is in front of every person you come in contact with online. Okay, tip one. This is something that I rarely, rarely see people doing. And when I do see them do it, I get really excited because it's such a simple thing that you can do to put your link and a reminder that you have new music in front of every person that opens an email from you. And that is to put the link to your music, whether it's an EP or a single, in your email signature. Now, if you are an artist and you are actively working to push your career forward and promote yourself and you are sending business emails to either venues or radio stations or whatever and you don't have an email signature, what? What are you doing? It's so easy to add an email signature. I don't care what form of email you, you use, if it's Verizon or Gmail or whatever. There's a way to create an email signature that you can probably Google and find out how to do within a couple of minutes. And all you need to do is put your name. You can put what you do, whether it's you know musician, guitar player, singer, songwriter, whatever it is that you wanna put underneath that, a contact, email, or phone number, your website, and a link to your new music. This means new single available on iTunes, boom, the link. Now, if you don't have a link that looks pretty in your email, I know sometimes iTunes or whatever gives you the super long link, look up different ways to shorten it. I know Bitly is a great way to do that and I'll have that linked below. You can actually drop a super long link into Bitly and it will create a very tiny link for you that goes to the same place. So just make sure you have a very small link in there and it's very easy. I know some email accounts will even let you do a click here for my new single and you can link the word click here to the actual place where you want them to go to. But make sure in your email signature you have your name, a good contact, whether it's another email address or your phone number or whatever, what you are, who you are, you're a guitar player, you're a singer, you're a songwriter, whatever, and then your website and a link to your new music. This is something that is so easy to do and every person that you send an email to is going to see that. If nothing else, it's a really good reminder that if they haven't gotten around to downloading your single yet, boom, there it is in their email box. They have no excuse but to click on it. Okay, the next tip that I have for you is something that I don't understand why I don't see this done more often because to me it's such a prime spot to put a link to something that you are promoting and that is in your Facebook banner. Now when people go to your Facebook page, oftentimes they have clicked on your name or your face on your profile picture to find out more about you. Otherwise, why would they even be on your Facebook page, okay? So once they're there, what is the very first thing they see? Even before your little profile picture in the corner, they're looking at your cover photo. So why not use that as a perfect place to advertise whatever you have going on, especially if it's new music. What you can do is create an awesome Facebook banner. And if you don't know how to do that, there's a really great app called Canva. I will also link that below. You can click on that and they have great customizable banners and the correct size that you need for your Facebook page. Or you can find some other way to create it if you want, if you have Photoshop or something like that, or if you have somebody that helps you with graphic design, you can ask them to do it. But make sure it says something like new single available now or now available on iTunes or however you want to word it to make it very clear to the person visiting your page your new music is available here. You can even do things like drop in the logos for Spotify, Amazon, wherever it is that your single is available. And then 
This is the step that I hardly ever see artists do. If they take the opportunity to create a Facebook cover photo advertising something, they rarely will go into the description of the cover photo and actually put a clickable link. It's so easy, you guys. All you have to do is drop in a link and it's clickable. So if people click on your cover photo or if they see your cover photo pop up in their newsfeed, the link to actually buy your music is right there underneath it or beside it. So definitely do that. Put your link to your new music into your cover photo text and then also into the description. It's just one other way that people are going to be able to find what it is that you have going on and listen to your music. Okay, the next place that you can put a little promotional piece in front of the world is in your Instagram bio. The only place you can put a clickable link on Instagram is in your Instagram bio, but this is the perfect place to put your new music. This is how you want to do it. In the very bottom section of your bio, the very last line, you want to put something like new music available, click below, or brand new single available, click below, or you can even write the title of your single, blah, 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 available here, available below, or you can use the arrow emoji the pointing down arrow emoji, which is what I do. I'll actually put an example here in the screen so you can see what I mean. If you put the arrow down emoji, it's gonna be obvious that you want people to click on that. And then in the website link area, instead of putting your website, put your iTunes link, your Amazon link, your Spotify link, whatever it is that you are trying to get people to click on. And that is a perfect place for people to be able to go onto your Instagram profile, click on that link, and the new music is available to them right there. Okay, the last couple of places are no-brainers. That is your website, that is all of your social media. Make sure any place that you have the opportunity to post a link to your new music, you are posting it because there is so much music being released to the world every single day. You need to remind people that you too have this available. Don't say something like, hey guys, my new single is available on iTunes and then not put a clickable link because people are too lazy and too busy to actually take the step to go to iTunes, log on there, and then search for your name and the name of your new single. They're not gonna take that extra step. If you avoid that extra step for them and you say, hey guys, my new single is available here, and all they have to do is literally click on one thing to get to that single, that is going to turn over so much more of a response and an audience for you. I promise you, the simplest things that you can do to help people gravitate to what it is that you're doing the, the better because people are so busy they don't have time to really look and research and take multiple steps to get to what it is that they want the easier you can make it on them the absolute better that's all for today guys i hope these tips on where to promote your new music for free in a very short amount of time has helped you if it has please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel i make new videos every single week thank you guys again for watching and i will see you next time